Hello and welcome to first grade. I am here with Miss Strink sitting and we are going to go over some of our open house slides just to kind of give you a preview of what to expect for first grade and um, just bear with us. We are recording this on Friday and so by next week things could have changed but we are going to let you know um, everything that we know at this moment. So we are so excited to have you guys in first grade and to introduce the teachers, here they are. Let me get it up and going. All right, so those are the first grade teachers. And like I said, I am Miss Fears, and I am so excited to have your child in my classroom this year. And before we even begin to go through some of the slides, I just want to let you all know that I am thinking about you, and I know that this year is going to look different. I think about even sending my personal kids, but please, please know that we have your child's safety, your child's heart, their well-being up most in the first thing that we think about. So I'm super excited for this year and it may look a little bit different, but we will make it through it. And so on, um, to begin with, I know that on the first day of school, we're not gonna be having parents able to come in and drop their students off. So here's a little glimpse of the classroom. A glimpse of our classroom. It is not finished yet, but we are trying to space tables out, limit the seating at the tables, um, and be able to, how do I minimize this? Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna limit the seating at the tables as much as we can. And I'm also going to be putting spots around the carpet um, just for like quiet working spots that so I can um, also help limit the students working at their tables and try to um, spread them out more. And then also hopefully have that time to be if they are, you know, more than the six feet away from somebody, just have like a couple of mask break areas that, you know, if they're just needing a few minutes just to breathe without their mask on. I'm gonna have some of those stations set up um, also so that they'll be able to take their mask off for a few minutes. Um, so that's what our classroom looks like. And then here's Miss Strink. Hey guys, welcome to first grade. My name is Miss Strink and I'm, um, I go to the U of A and I'll be a student intern in your classroom this year. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I've spent every summer while being in school nannying for two little girls. And when quarantine happened, I adopted two puppies um, so that's just a little bit about me, and I look forward to learning from each and every one of your students this year so that I can be a great teacher one day soon. Great. And so, Ms. String, she, you were in Dallas. 
over the summer, right? Yes, all summer. Yes. And then so for three summers now, she's ba- our nannied um, two little girls, mm-hmm. and they are five and six. So I feel like she's perfect coming into first grade. I know, didn't the quarantine time, didn't you kind of help with their schooling? Yeah, so when quarantine first happened, I um, would go over every day and work through their schoolwork with them and help them get through it and um, and then just hang out with them for a little bit. Yeah, that. so good. You've got some great experience coming in. Okay, so here's what our schedule is going to be looking like. Hopefully, we've kind of got this all squared away and times won't be changing. Um so they'll come in at 7.45. Now, also, um, I think Ms. Bealey said this on her Facebook Live, but students can come in the building at 7.25, and they'll go straight to their classrooms. So there's not going to be any more sitting out in the hall. They'll just come straight to their classrooms. Um, at 7.50, we'll do start our morning meeting, read aloud. 8.30 to 9.30, we'll have our phonics and workshop time, readers workshop and phonics time. 9.30 to 10.30, we're going to have our writer's workshop. Um, from 10.30 to 10.55, we will have recess. And recess this year will look like we've got, I think, five zones that are around the school building, and we are going to be rotating through those different zones. So that way, it's just limiting um, the students on a certain piece of the playground equipment and just trying to keep that socially distanced as well. Um, 11 to 11.30, they'll have lunch, and they are going to be eating lunch in the classroom. And I will be in the classroom, and Ms. Strink as well will be in the classroom with them while they eat lunch. From 11.30 to 12, they'll have Alexia time. And the Alexia is um, a new program that we're going to be starting this year, so I'm excited to start that. Um, 12 to 1, we have our math workshop. 1 to 1.30, we have science and social studies. And then... For the second part of recess from 1.30 to 1.50, um, we'll also be rotating through those zones as it um, as it comes. And then 2 to 2.50, we have specials. And then um, at 2.50 to 3, we'll start the dismissal. And, I'm well, 3 o'clock will be the dismissal, but 2.50, we'll start cleaning up and getting ready for dismissal. And with the, the mis- dismissal, from what I can understand is the students will stay in their classroom um, and you will go to like your same pickup spots that you went, you know, it still will be the K1 and two, three and four or five. Um, so you'll still go there, but then they'll tell us when a student's, um, their car riders coming through. And so then they'll just leave from the classroom and go straight to their dismissal area instead of sitting out in the hallway. Um, I'm not quite for sure yet, what they're doing with the buses. I haven't heard much about that, but as soon as we know something, then I will let you know. Okay, so, so far, this is what our specials are looking like. Um, I know art was a little tricky for Miss Bewley, and so she's still working on that, but as of right now, this is what I have. Monday is music, then Tuesday and Friday, they have PE. Wednesday will be library, and Thursday will be Teachers, art. Bye. Message oh. back from the seesaw representative, and yes, it's all right. Sorry, Miss Wheelie had to make an announcement. Um, and I we just put water bottles will be, be provided for every student, and each grade level has a different color of water bottle. And so, I think first grades is red, and so they will be um, provided a water bottle. Um, but please send. So, like, however you wish to use, you can use your own water bottle or they could use the one provided by the school. But just please make sure if it gets sent home that they bring another one the next day because we do not have access to the water fountains. Um, At each of the water fountains at the green and the blue hall, there is a water bottle filling station so that they'll be able to do that. But the water fountains themselves are turned off. So just please make sure that they bring a bottle or a a water bottle every day. All right. So lunch is at 1045. 1045. Is that 11? No. 
Let me look really fast. Okay, and we're back. Lunch, oops, is at 11. I don't know why 1045 was right there, but it is at 11 and due to COVID visitors are not allowed in the building. However, Ms. Bewley has said that if it's a nice day, um, we, you know, Shaw is a huge family oriented school and we'd love to see our parents and love to see you in the cafeteria eating with your children or child and we don't want to take that away from you. So you are more than welcome to feel free to come and they will call your child down to the office and you guys can eat outside with a picnic or maybe eat in your car, however you would like to do it. We just can't have you coming in the building. So we still please welcome you to come. It'll just look a little bit different. All right, reading, read, read, read. Research shows that the more that kids read at home and the more and the more kids are read to, they will be more successful in all they do. Um, other things that we're gonna be doing in first grade is rhyming and identifying nouns, verbs, adjectives, identifying nonfiction text features, such as the headings and the caption, the uh, photographs, and being able to retell stories, discussing how characters felt and relating them to a story in their life. And also just talking about um, how Characters can change throughout the story as well. Math, we do our math facts within 20, and that's knowing them just, we call it knowing them in a snap. And so um, just getting our math facts within 20, um, being able to count to 120, being able to add and subtract within 100, counting money, being able to tell time to the half hour and the half and the hour, and counting by tens from any given number. So this is something great to even be doing at home. Um, I know with my girls, I'll say, okay, start with the number four and count by 10. So they don't have to know how to go four, 14, 24, 34. And so um, a lot of times parents will be like, well, my child knows how to count by tens. And they do if you go 10, 20, 30, 40. But it's whenever you start from any given number that sometimes it can trick them up. And so you can go forwards and backwards. All right, the only homework that we're gonna have this year will be to read. Um, each night that your child will read, they can color a tre treasure chest. So you'll see in their folder, um, it'll have a sheet that has several different treasure chests on it, maybe 30. And um, so every book that they read, they can color in a treasure chest. And at the beginning of the month, I will color in one and I hide the piece of paper. And then at the, at the end of each month, I will show them my treasure chest that I colored. And if they have that treasure chest colored in, then they get to get a treat out of the treasure box. So um, it's just kind of a fun way for them to be able to read. And, you know, you're not having to write down every single book that they're reading and the date and the pages and um, just trying to find a fun way to keep them entertained. Let me go back and please. All right, the expectations for first grade is to be on time, to read, be kind, and process over perfection. We know that everybody is going to be making mistakes and that we wanna learn from them, and that I by no means expect them to be perfect. And there's gonna be days that we have oops and mess up, but that we will learn from it and keep going. All right, so this is what I was just talking about. We all have days where we have an oops here and there, and it's important that we communicate those instances to you. If your kiddo happens to have an oops, like I said, it happens to all of us, they will bring home a think sheet. And on that think sheet, it's just a way for them to be able to reflect on um, their oops that they had, and also just to be a talking point for you whenever they get home. Sometimes they'll say, well, I, you know, I got in trouble because of this. And then you're not really understanding the story. So this is just a way for you guys to be able to have a talking point at home. All right, and last, seesaw, seesaw, seesaw is gonna be our main way of communication. So please, 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 whenever you get your child's information, please sign up for a seesaw because it's gonna be extremely important that that's how I'm gonna send out most of my information to you um, even like with emails and everything, just a lot of it all comes through Seesaw. 
Um, and then I also left you my email address as well at the bottom. So feel free to email me, call the school, and I can talk to you. Um, like I said, I can't wait to have all of your kiddos. And um, it's just going to be a great year. And the last thing, um, if you have any changes, oh, yeah, throughout the day, please contact the office and let them know because sometimes I'll have a parent that texts me and says, you know, um, so-and-so is a bus rider today, not a car rider. And I may not have my phone on me and I would hate to like miss that message. So it's fine if you want to email me or text me and let me know that, but just please make sure you also let the office know so we don't miss any of those messages. So we are here to help you any way that we can. And just know I am already thinking of you all each and every day and that we are here getting school ready and just trying to make it the most joyful and happy place during this time. And um, I can't wait to see you all. Have a great day.